Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're joining me today. What I want to show you is a project that I've been working on for a little while. Um, and I know it looks like a lot and I guess in a way it is, but they're needle keeps. I have done 25 of them and now I'm going to say my needle keeps are not as fancy as some. Mine are meant to be used. There are some beautiful ones out there and I might even be scared to use those. But mine are meant to be used and taken with you if you go on a trip. It's to store your best needles. Um, the needles that you're going to use probably like for your um, creative journals and things like that. So what, let's see here how I want to do this. I guess I'll show you one um, on the inside and, and I can show you the covers to all of them. But this is one that um, I've actually put a few things in just to show you. And I'm going to tell you how I did it. So if you want to give your hand at it and remember, this is just an idea. This is not how they have to be done. Um, but this is the first inside. Um, that is a little pin that goes with your art glitter glue. Um, I have bent those. They usually don't rust, you know, if you get them from them and that's what I've done. I have a little jar of them, a uh, little tube of them, but I, I put one in my needle keep so that I do always have one handy. Um, and these are the needles that I would want to use for my, um, journal binding. And then it's always good, I think, to have just a few longer pins, um, you know, kind of use it as a pokey tool. And here's another space, perhaps, if I want to put some straight pins. And now, I just put these pieces of lace here just as an embellishment. You could actually pretty much stick your pins anywhere you want to. You know that there are pins in here, so you be careful with it. And here's just another strip. I, can you see it? Um, another place to put pins. And then I did do a little pocket um, for a, just a little pair of scissors in the back. Um, now you can make these, of course, as large or as small as you want. I didn't want mine to be super big. Um, if I was going to change this in any way, I might make it a little taller. Um, these scissors... The were kind of the scissors that I intended to put in them, but when you put them in the pocket, they kind of poked out a little, which isn't really such a terrible thing. The other thing that I might also add to this, if I were going to do it, is I might make two pockets back here, um, and one over here might be for a thimble. But I always have something um, that I can always push a needle through with that I don't necessarily need a thimble. But that's another thought. So that's the inside. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you, um, you know, what they look like on the front. And here's these three. And then, let's see, here's these three. I'm trying to do this. And then those two back again. <laughs> and then here's those two. I'll take them off real quick and these and then we've got these two and then the ones underneath and I hope my camera is not doing crazy things I actually don't know if it's my camera or my computer my laptop's getting a little old um, and then there's these three and then those two here so um, anyhow that's that so let me tell you now what I did. Um, everything that I used was scrap, by the way. I did not purchase anything except for the black elastic. Um, and you could actually use ribbon, you know, and twist it around the button. Um, I probably had elastic or something that I could have used, but I didn't want to take that chance of not having it. I was really crunched for time when when I took these off to a retreat to do them. So I needed to make sure I had everything. 
So first of all, you want to find your piece of fabric that you want to have as your base. Then what I did is I found, just like I said, I went through my lace pile and I just found some lace that would fit on top of that. Now, I just used, um, you know, beacon, glue, um, Fabrifix, whatever you have, and, and definitely glue down the edges and then hit some spots in the middle of the, in the, middle of the um, lace. And then I walked away from it. I let all of them dry and then I went back through and I trimmed them down to size. Now from there, I had to think about this because I wanted to put my button on, but I did not want my button after being sewn on. I did not want it to come through on the inside. I didn't want to see that big wad, but I also knew that I wanted to sew around the edges. Um, so that left me with the dilemma of the button being on and still being able to sew. Well, you can. Um, just make sure your button ends in far enough and your elastic loop is long enough to do. So that all dried. I trimmed that down. Then I added my button to it. All righty. And then what I did is I took my... This was all, again, this was given to me. It wasn't necessarily scrapped, but I probably had, I don't know, 20 pieces of felt at least. So I cut them down a little bit smaller than what the needle keep, you know, was going to be opened up. I cut them a little bit smaller, height and width. And then I actually pin just the top, so it's pinning through the lace and the cover all right so it's on the inside here so now i pinned that inside just on the top and then what i did is i took my loop of elastic and cut it to the length and i want to say i did like i i want to say it was between three and four inches <coughs> excuse me and i again used fabric fix glued it in there and laid this, my felt piece, on top of it. <coughs> and then I pinned those down. And again, did all of them and walked away. Because the one thing you do not want to do is run your sewing machine needle through any wet glue. So those actually had overnight. Alrighty. So then with that being said, while that was um, drying, I had put my button on a little before that so that's how I knew how my elastic was going to be so I sewed my button on so that it went through the lace and the cover so my button would be about right here alrighty so my button and your elastic piece and everything is now attached you this is pinned down all right your button is already on, your elastic is already on. So now you're ready to sew. So I just went and I did it where the lace side was up, all right, when I sewed. So I could actually see where it was going. But when I got to, because that way also I could kind of push the foot around the button. But when I got to the elastic side, I made sure that I backed up and went over it so the elastic was also stitched in then like three times. Alrighty. And then the other piece, I only did more piece inside. Now you could do multiple. You could adjust whatever you're going to use. You don't necessarily have to use felt. You could adjust it and stitch just down the middle. And then that's really it. You're you're all set. Um and then you just get to embellish the inside. Now, I didn't do a lot of embellishing because, like I said, mine is going to be functional. I'm actually going to use mine and take it with me places. Um, so, I, you know, I didn't, I don't necessarily need all that fancy. I just need things to, places to stick my needles. And I liked the idea of felt. Now, remember, too, every inside piece of felt inside the actual cover you're going to have to cut it down a little bit width-wise, alrighty, because it's going to be thick and poke out. Just like when you do a journal, um, your pages might poke out to get to the 
middle. So with that, and uh, it, uh, it seems to be freezing on me from time to time, I apologize. But anyhow, if you have any questions about these or you want to know something that I did, please um, comment down below or shoot me an email. Um, remember, I do a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can find me on Facebook, my private page, um, my group, or find me. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And I have a small Etsy shop. And uh, I guess that's really it. So I hope to see you down the road. And I will catch you next time. Appreciate you coming by.